Yeah, look, it's Jolly John again. Now, why am I making this video? Why am I making the claims that the Occupy movements are fake? And, you know, before anybody jumps on here and starts spamming it with, you know, just random abuse, I'm gay, I lie, I'm, I'm a shill. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm quite open to the fact that, yeah, if you want to come on here with a, a really good argument, all I say is prove my theory's wrong, and I'll quite openly, you know, converse with you about it. I'm not going to reply to I'm gay or anything like that. So, bottom line is, they're fake. The Occupy movements are fake. And I'm not saying that everybody down there in the, in the protests are all, you know, paid government agents or whatever. You know, a lot of them are down there with good intentions. And they're getting dragged along. And I'm not going to insult you by saying you're sheep or, you know, you're brainwashed into it by the media or whatever. I'm not, you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes. But the fact is, they are fake. They're staged. And, you know, it's, it's all a game. At the end of the day, it's a game. And like all great chess tacticianers, the powers that be have all their bits and pieces in places and they're, they're just waiting to spring the trap and you know you're gonna think well what's what what's the end game of the trap well the only way you're gonna get any of this fixed now really is with a revolt a revolution and in the links below in the info you will see that these protests, I mean, all these images that you keep seeing, all these images that are making you angry and riling you up, they've all been staged to do just that. So at the end of the day, not only do the people want a revolution, the powers that be want a revolution. And that is really scary. And I fear for the people I know are on the state side. I really do. Although, you know, it will, you know, as they say, shit rolls downhill, it will come to have an effect in Europe and the UK. But the main playing field for this is the US. And you can see it. And what have they got to gain by having a revolution? Well, as you've seen in other countries that have, have revolted, people step in. They step in to try and stop the bloodshed. They step in to try and, you know, remove the powers of office that have been the problem. They're trying to remove the military forces that are, that are causing the bloodshed on the population. So if they're wanting a revolution, and they're going to crack down on you. You know, obviously they want to be invaded. And all I can think of is they want a war. And they want to not look like the bad guy. They want to look like, you know, the forces have invaded you. Not them invading them. And that's, that's the only possible reason I could think for it. You know, I can't get across enough. They are staged, they are fake, they are m being manipulated to make the population angry. They're making you want to get mad. They want you to revolt, which is, like I say, it's a scary thing. It's just mind-bogglingly scary. So, you know, take heed from this and, you know, Go and watch the videos I'm going to post in the links below. You know, go and educate yourself. Go and see that I'm not, I'm not just spouting, you know, madness theories. There's people out there that are doing, you know, great work to check up on this sort of stuff. 
and then you start putting the pieces together. And, you know, like I say, the only reason they're sort of pushing your buttons is because all their pieces are in place. Because at the end of the day, it is just a chess game. And you get put into a situation in a chess game where it doesn't matter which way you move, it's going to be game over. And that's the perfect play. And that is where you are at the moment. So, you know, just go and think about it, watch the videos, and, you know, prepare for the worst, basically. Because I think it's, it's in a situation there when it's a no-win situation. The only way out of it is the way they want. <laughs> it's just a case of duck and cover. What you've got to remember is, you know, the powers that be have been playing this game for a lot longer than me and you. They've had hundreds of years to perfect their, their positioning and their gameplay. So, yeah. But just look at the symbols that you're using as, you know, the logos and learn where they come from and you'll see it is a setup okay I also want to let you guys know about a new channel that's uh, it's opened up now and I'm hoping great things from it because it is going to be a collaboration of different people that are already on YouTube putting videos out and you've probably seen some of them but it's going to be a collaboration of, of different people with different views all posting to, to one site so yeah it should be a good channel and I'll put the link to that and the info behind and uh, you know go and check out Destination Human 2012's channel so with that I don't think there's a lot more else I can say so I wish you all well happy dreams and I'll catch you next time and I'm really going to have to start looking at my name. Jolly's not a good name. I never put out Jolly videos. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> Catch you soon.